Did you know that there are three settings you need to make sure are enabled on YouTube in order for YouTube to give you over a thousand views whenever you upload content? Or maybe you didn't know that if you write the wrong thing in your description, it could be the reason that YouTube is showing your content to the wrong people and then boom, you don't get the reach that you want. But don't worry because by the end of this video, you're going to know how to correctly upload content to YouTube in 2025 so that you can actually maximize the amount of views that you get and go viral way easier as a small channel. Step number one is you need to make sure that you're giving YouTube the right information when you upload a video in order for them to be able to find the right audience for that content. Because if you mess this up, it could be the reason that you're uploading good content to YouTube, but it's not going anywhere because YouTube wasn't able to correctly identify based on the metadata that you put in that video, who to actually show it to. Let me explain. So if we look at my latest video here and we come into the details and this video is doing pretty good. It's got almost 10,000 views within like the first 16 hours or so. If we look at the title here, it says how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in 10 minutes, 2025 update. So what is the key word that I'm actually going for here? It's how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So if we take this, we're going to see that that shows up in my title, it also shows up within my description. In fact, I have how to get more subscribers on YouTube also in the second line of the description. So technically, how to get subscribers on YouTube shows up twice in the description, but then also if we come down to the tags here, what we are going to see is that it shows up several different times. In fact, I have it showing once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and then the rest of them are also about either how to get subscribers or how to grow quick on YouTube. Now, most people just stop at those three placements, but there is one other place that you need to make sure that this is showing up, and most people mess this up. And that is that if you come into your video's transcript, you need to make sure that that shows up in the first one to two lines. Whatever keyword you're going after needs to show up in the first one to two lines, because if it doesn't, well then YouTube's gonna think that the video that you upload actually has nothing to do with the keywords that you put in your title, your description, your tags, and basically what the video is about. But that's just step number one to correctly uploading content on YouTube. You also need to make sure that you're enabling and disabling a ton of different settings, both in the video on YouTube and within your channel settings. But before you ever get to that, I want to make sure that YouTube actually wants to push out the video you created. Now here's how you actually figure that out. What you need to do is you need to come into your studio on YouTube. It's going to be studio.youtube.com. Come into analytics right here, come over to trends, and then you need to type in whatever keyword you're putting in that video that you're about to upload. For example, how to get thousand subscribers on YouTube. And what you need to make sure happens is this needs to say very high interest from your viewers. If this doesn't say very high interest, do not create that video, do not upload that video, because no matter what you do right, the video isn't gonna do well. In fact, that's the number one mistake I see so many small creators just like yours make, and it completely ruins their views before they ever even create the video. Why? Because YouTube didn't wanna push out that topic for your specific channel. Step number three, again, before you even upload the video, is you need to make sure that your video is edited correctly. In specific, you need to make sure three things are done well. One, every single silence needs to be taken out of the video. This is gonna help increase the pace of the video, increase the watch time, and ultimately get you more views on YouTube. Secondly, you need to make sure that anything that's redundant is taken out. I repeat myself all the time in videos, and if there's ever a sentence or a line that you can take out, and the video still makes sense, I strongly suggest that you get rid of that. In it, in addition to that, you need to make sure that you're adding supportive B-roll into your content. If you don't have B-roll in your content, nobody's going to watch your video. In fact, for every 60 seconds of recording, you more likely than not should have anywhere from 25 to 45 seconds of B-roll depending on where it actually is in your video. And trust me, if you fail to do these three things, it's going to destroy the reach that you get on YouTube. Lucky for you, today's video sponsor, Gling AI, makes changing all these things incredibly easy because it's an editing tool built specifically for YouTubers. Whether you're an expert or you're a beginner, using Gling can help cut down the time that you're spending on editing in half, which is going to save you a ton of time and help you create better content that gets more views. Simply upload your video to Gling and you can remove silences, redundant clips, add jump cuts, and so much more automatically. This used to take me hours to do before I started using Gling. 
But that's not even the coolest part. Gling is also going to give you a copy of the transcript. So you can take that copy of the transcript, put it in the ChatGPT with the prompt that I have on the screen right now, and boom, ChatGPT is going to tell you exactly where to put B-roll and what kind of B-roll to get, which is literally going to save you hours of time and help skyrocket your reach. And that's exactly why I strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and start editing your videos with Gling today. It's going to help you spend less time creating and editing content and more time getting the views that you actually deserve. Now remember, there are still four more steps, like you need to make sure that your channel is actually set up correctly and you're clicking the right buttons when you go to upload a video, so let's dive into that. So when you're actually uploading a video, here's what you need to make sure that you're doing. First and foremost, you need to select your file. You need to come into downloads right here. For example, I'm just gonna upload this right here, which is just one clip so that this won't take too long. Now right here is where we need to add in our title. Remember, your title needs to have keywords that are going to be super specific to whatever you're trying to get views around. For example, I'm gonna put in here how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in 2025, and I'm gonna say, new algorithm. Now what we'd want to do then is we want to come to the description and we want to kind of repeat that with two sentences, but we want to do it in sentence form. For example, this video is going to show you how to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube in 2025. It's the best video to watch to learn about the new algorithm update for YouTube shorts and then from there you're going to want to add in whatever different links that you have and then at the end if it's a long form video you're going to want to add in your different hashtags down there now right here is where you come in and you upload your thumbnail so you're going to click upload right here again we're going to take a thumbnail now i need to make sure you're not doing two things wrong with this one do not use this auto-generated thumbnail, and please do not use this test and compare feature because it's going to decrease your reach. Now, the next thing that you need to do is come down here and add this into a playlist if you have one. If you don't have a playlist, that's totally fine. Now, these next few settings are gonna be incredibly important. Right here, where it says marked for kids, mark this as no unless you're creating content that is specifically only for children. If you mark this yes, People won't be able to comment on your content. It's going to significantly decrease the ads that show on your content, and it's going to basically throttle the views that you get. If you do not have a paid promotion in your video, then you could skip this right here. If you didn't alter your content, in specific, these three things, then you could also click no right here. I would always make sure that this is enabled, this is enabled, this is enabled, and here is where you're going to add your tags. You're going to see right here that it's out of 500 characters. So what you wanna do is add anywhere from 450 to 499 characters in here, again, related to the keyword that you have in your title and the keywords that show in your description. And then we're going to scroll down. You wanna keep all of this the same. You wanna keep all of this the same. You wanna keep all of this the same, except for category. I would change this and make it whatever is relevant for you, personal for me, I always keep it on education. And then you want to scroll down even more. Again, do not touch anything else in here. From here, you're going to click next. If you're already monetized, what you need to do is come in here and turn this on. And then you need to go through and actually add ads if your video is over eight minutes long. Now, again, we're just going to skip through all of this because it only matters if you're monetized. Now, when it comes to video elements right here, there's really only one thing that I would suggest doing right here, and this is going to be adding in an end screen. Now, usually what I always do is just import it from the latest video that I use, and then you could just change one or two of those elements. Now, once that's done, you don't necessarily have to come in here and add music license unless you're using them. You don't have to add subtitles because YouTube will do that automatically. You don't have to tag products unless you have one in there. Add cards, I wouldn't do this if you're a brand new YouTuber. So then we're going to click next. Now from here, this is gonna go through, run all of its checks. Looks like it should be good to go. Now from here, there's only one or two things that I would do. I would not put your video as private, don't do that. I would not put your video as unlisted, don't do that. I wouldn't put your video as members only, don't do that. If you're ready to publish your video, you can click public right here and you can publish it. Or what I like to do is I like to schedule it out for some time in the future. For example, if this video was gonna go out today, I would do Jan 15, 12 a.m., click schedule. I like to go through the settings, make sure everything is correct, and then, only then, I will go and actually set this video live. Now remember, there are still three other settings you need to care about. The next one is going to be that your video is actually the right length, because you can make the best video in the world, but if it's not the right length for the topic that you were creating the video on, it's going to destroy your reach. Here's how you actually check that. 
So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come back to the same place that we were at for step number two, but you're going to want to come down here to what people are watching, click show all, go under videos, or if you're uploading a short, go under shorts, and you'll be able to see exactly what length you should create your video. So what we're going to see here is that this video is a year old, a year old, a year old. These videos are all newer. Now, if we look at the newer videos, we'll notice that they're all 15 to 18 minutes long. Now, guess what that means? That means that you should be uploading a video that's 15 to 18 minutes long on this topic. If you don't, it's going to significantly decrease the reach that you get. Because if you only look at these videos that are a lot shorter, but they were uploaded a long time ago, then you'd be looking at how YouTube used to work, not how YouTube currently works, and that would decrease your reach. Now, step number six, before we get into the final and last setting that you need to make sure is enabled, is I need to make sure that you come into settings right here. And if you come into channel, that you have the correct country of residence, you have a bunch of keywords here that are going to be the keywords that you're going to be uploading about and a few different competitors that you have. And if you come in a feature eligibility, that all you see is green. And then finally, you need to come over to youtube.com slash verify. If those two things are not set up correctly, the channel settings that you have in here and this right here, and YouTube isn't going to give your videos reach, but if that is set up correctly, then there's only one other thing that might be lowering your views when you're uploading a video. And that is that you could be putting your hashtags in the wrong place. And this is going to be drastically different whether you're uploading a long form video or a shorts video. If you upload a long form video, you should only put your hashtags at the end of your description and you should put three hashtags in there. And ideally, they should be the largest hashtags that are relevant to whatever you're posting about that the most people have used because that will help YouTube actually find a good audience for the video. If you're uploading a short, only put your hashtags in the title. And in specific, they need to come at the end of the title. And there are three hashtag strategies that work best for shorts. The first one is going to be two hashtags. Both of them should be niche specific. The second is going to be four hashtags, but please, only do this if you're uploading a short title. You shouldn't have a bunch of hashtags actually be longer than your title. So if you use four hashtags, they need to all be really small. And then finally, you want to use two niche specific hashtags and hashtag shorts. Now at this point, if you're still not getting the growth that you want to on YouTube, but you want 2025 to be the year that you finally get monetized on YouTube and you're able to upload and make a full-time living from it, well, I strongly suggest that you check out this video right here that walks you through the three different ways we can work together one-on-one -on -one to help make your dreams your reality on YouTube. I'll see you over there.